Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see three different variables used as environmental variables and these variables are used for defining the Wix. To make our job easy, I have created master calendar. I am definitely sure that all of you must have used master calendar in your application. If you want to learn step by step how to create master calendars, then I have already created two videos on master calendar and the link of those videos you can find from the description section. Here I have created master calendar based on start date and end date variables. You can also create master calendar based on the fact table dates. And there are few fields I have created and at the front end, I have created two click objects. One is a click filter where I have used order year and order month year. And another click object is a table where I have added three different fields, order date, order week and order week day. First of all, we will understand first week day variable. This environmental variable equal to zero means your week number will always change or always start from Monday. Zero means Monday, one means Tuesday, two means Wednesday and so on and six means Sunday. When you install click based on the regional setting you have done, you will get these variables. So for European countries like UK, Germany, France, we are getting zero here. But if you are sitting in Canada or USA, you will get six here. But you can change these values manually. So we will see what this first weekday variable is giving us. Right now it's a zero. I have loaded the application and we will see at the front end that the week number is always changing when the weekday is Monday. So you can see that week number three will come when the ordered weekday is Monday. But if I will change here one, so whenever we are having weekday Tuesday, then the week number will change. So here now you can see that every Tuesday, the week number is getting changed. Same way, if I will make it six year, then the week will start from Sunday. So every Sunday, the week number will change. So by changing the value of this variable, you can adjust your week start accordingly. I will make it zero now and I will reload. And this is the setting we are using in UK. Now we will move to the second variable. It is called as broken weeks. What is broken weeks? Broken week variable is mostly used where you want to define when is your first week of any year will start. Right now I am keeping broken weeks equal to zero and I will reload this application and we will see at the front end when the first week start for every year. So for 2019, if I will select December and January, then you will see that week one is starting from 31st December 2018. So what is the meaning of this? So there is a rule according to ISO 8601, week one always start if there are four days in January. Now broken weeks equal to zero. If I will make it one, then what will happen? First of January will always start as week one. So if I will select 2022 and 2023 and December and January, then the week 53 is starting from 26th of December 2022. But as soon as we reach to 1st of January, we have got week one. But Monday, it will automatically start the new week number. So on 2nd of January, week two will start. So you can see that week 53 and week one, these seven days are false inside two different weeks. This is called broken weeks. Now, if we consider 2021 and 2022 and December and January, 
So here you can see that week 53 and week 1. So week 53 has got 5 days and as soon as 1st of January came, the week started from week 1. It has got only 2 days because Monday the new week will start. Now I have mentioned that according to ISO 8601, week 1 must have 4 days in January. So if you want to change this rule, then you have to change here. Reference day equal to 4 instead of that I will say 1. Week 1 will start even though we have one day of week 1 in January and I will also remove broken weeks equal to 0 right now. And now if I will reload the application then you can see that even though there is only a single day falling in week 1 of January the week 1 will start. So here there are two days falling in week 1. So because of that we have five more days coming from December and week 1 will start from December. Let me select these seven days and if I will let's change reference day equal to 1 to reference day equal to 4 which is a by default and I will reload this application and for 2022 and 2023 for December and January we will see that 1st of January is falling inside week 52 because we don't have 4 days rule fulfilling here. Let's see another good example for 2020 and 2021 and here 1st, 2nd and 3rd of January is falling inside week 53. This is a very good example for us. So I will select few dates from here because we need 4 days of January to fall inside week 1. Here only 3 days are there. So what I will do instead of 4 days I will make it 3. So when I will change this reference day equal to 4 to reference day equal to 3 we have now 3 days falling inside week 1. So that means our criteria is now fulfilling. So what will happen this week 53 will convert to week 1. I will load this application and now you can see that week 53 is now changed to week 1 because this 3 days rule is now fulfilling. So hope that you understand now what is the meaning of reference day. Reference day means number of days of first week of January. So here we have 3 days so because of that it will consider the whole week as a week 1 but if I will make it again 4 then instead of this week 1 it will be week 53 because now it is not fulfilling the criteria of 4 days. We have only 3 days. So I will reload this application and you can see that it is week 53 here. It is week 53 here. Hope you now understand how to use these 3 environmental variables first week day, broken week and reference day. I have given link of those three variables for click help file so that you can read them and you can understand much better way. Thanks and have a great day.